Jalen Brunson is a great guard to learn from. With his ability to change speeds, play with physicality, able to get shots off against bigger players, and now he's able to utilize footwork when he gets into the paint are things that any player needs at any level. Whether you're a guard or not, there are a lot of habits that he possesses that can take your game to the next level immediately. In regards to his physicality, he's one of the best guards in the league at playing with and initiating contact. He uses his strength and his frame to create space and advantages for himself as a ball handler. One of the best ways he creates advantages is by inverting the offense or posting as a guard using a Barkley or a guard post up named after the great Charles Barkley. And no, not this version of Charles Barkley, but this version of Charles Barkley. The Barkley is where Jalen Brunson uses his strength patience and footwork to get to his spots on the floor to get shots off for himself. Brunson's mastered this move ever since his time in college. It's a great way to slowly get to where you want on the floor and then manipulate the defense by using good footwork around the rim. Brunson will use the Barkley to get into jump hooks, step throughs, fades, spins, mostly efficient shots for him near the basket. He slows the tempo down and the defender's at his mercy. Another benefit is now you have your best passer, your all-time quarterback or your point guard that close to the bucket. If the defense sends another body, then the point guard can just find shooters. It's also a good way to hit cutters like this one to DiVincenzo. With Brunson's ability to Barkley and someone like Mikael Bridges' ability to cut, it's a great way to connect your good passing guards with your best cutting players. Barkley is beneficial for all guards because it teaches you to use your body combatively to get to where you want to on the floor, especially when the defense stops you. Brunson plays almost like a running back. As you start to play higher levels, you realize guards love contact. You're either a hit first player or a get hit player. You realize there's contact on every drive and you're either the one hitting the defender off your line or taking contact from them. Brunson does a great job of initiating contact with what's called a rake up. It's where he anticipates a limb on his line of attack, rakes up, hitting the arm and getting a foul call for an and one. Your old Moses Moody in the starting lineup once again with no Andrew Wiggins. He does it off of one and two feet. It doesn't result in a foul every single time, but I love that he gets a low pickup, he violently rips up, and he's owning his own space. It's a good way to create positive momentum going to the rim. And if you watch Brunson play enough, stuff like this happens, where Tyrese Maxey doesn't want to get caught reaching, so he lets him go by. As an undersized guard like Brunson is, it's a great way to show defenders if you get caught reaching on me, I'm going to make you pay by using balance and control. And again, it's not flailing your arms to try to draw a foul from a referee. It's a really good understanding of when I get shoulder to shoulder with my defender, they tend to reach over my body so I can rip up and get that arm, getting an AM one. Jalen Brunson is one of the most clever players in the league right now. He's not the fastest straight line driver. He uses his body well, but he's unbelievably smart and deceptive, whether he's faking handoffs to turn the corner or changing his tempo with his handling and his footwork. He's so good at getting to where he wants to on the floor and then knowing what to do once he gets there. A clever example of this is how he decelerates on his last step to get up either a runner or a floater. So a defender thinks that they'll do a good job of guarding him and he'll use a multitude of moves to get by. And then for his last step, he'll plant either his right or his left foot in the ground. And that creates just enough space. In this example, he reattacks this closeout and then he's able to stop on that left foot, creating enough room to get a floater off. It takes a lot of feel, but in this example right here, he just changes the rhythm and cadence of that right foot, left foot step. And by changing the cadence, the defender jumps early, leaving him a window to get a layup off. By far the best part of Brunson's game is how he plays off two feet. He is masterful in the painted area by creating windows for layups. Take a listen where he learned this skill. Play off two feet. That's a Villanova that come earlier, very skilled off two feet. I think at Villanova it was like, Polished it. Polished. Mm -hmm. Polished it because everyone did it. It was something we did every single day. I kid you not. That's how we started practice. That's how we ended practice. Like mm -hmm. that we started just doing our footwork stuff. And so uh, Coach Wright was like, you, I want you guys to have this in your repertoire, knowing that you guys can play the other way, but you will always have this style mm -hmm. of basketball. There are a ton of benefits of playing off of two feet, and Brunson shows a bunch of them. 
He's able to change directions and tempo of play a lot easier with the two foot base. Um, but then also the step throughs, like in this example against Draymond, Draymond has him guarded, but the ability to play off two gives him more time and ability to step into open space. So here, if you run this back, as Jalen attacks this closeout, he could take this shot right here and be a tough runner, but instead he regains his balance, gets his eyes to the rim. He's able to step around Draymond, putting him on his back and then finding a window to finish this off the left side. I'm a big proponent of playing off one foot, but I also love playing off two as it allows you to take way more contact at the end of your drives, creating more AM1s. It allows you time to fake and then create windows to step into. And by definition, it just gives you a better base to play off of. So for example, on this floater by Brunson, notice he freezes Halliburton on the floor. Like Halliburton isn't ready for him to go immediately up into the floater like he does right here. So he actually stays on the ground, creating a wide open window. By 16, led by as many as 29. Trying to finish things off. Brunson, turn around, jumper's good! When Jalen Brunson isn't able to get all the way to the front of the room to finish, he's also so good at these paint pulls or paint pull-ups where he gets inside the elbows here, creates enough space, and his money from that area. It's a shot Brunson's worked on ever since he was a younger kid, and it's a great um, tool to have in the toolkit if you're not able to get to the rim. I consider it a little bit different than a mid-range shot. So Brunson does a great job of methodically getting back to the middle of the floor, which makes it almost like a free throw. But as a point guard, it's really good to have something in between a three from three point line and a layup inside the charge circle to keep the defense honest. It's also gotta be frustrating as the defense thinks they've kept him in front and done their job perfectly. And then he'll either pivot away into this paint pull up or it's a tool that he can use after a Barkley or you know, using some sort of physicality. For the most part, he shoots these in the paint, he shoots them under control, and he shoots them with great efficiency. So there you have it. Jalen Brunson's been putting the city on notice this year. There's a reason he's a first time all-star by the caliber of play he's been playing with. From his improvement in his paint pull-ups to his variety of finishes and his ability to get his shot off seamlessly around bigger, more athletic players. It's no wonder why he's pound for pound one of the best guards in the league. If you enjoyed these habits of how to create space as a point guard, how to use a variety of finishing moves in the paint, and how to stand out and play bigger than your size like Jalen Brunson does, then join us at a PGC camp this summer where we teach a lot of these things in the classroom and on the court.